Hello and welcome to Dojo Live here at High Tech 2024. I'm Kim Landis. With me is Ed, Ed Ulmer of Barefoot Technologies. Yes. Ed, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. I love these things. Lovely. It's been a while. Been a while. Yes. Ed was actually on Dojo Live, I think, five, six years ago. There's a lot that's probably changed since then. A lot that's changed and a lot that's stayed the same. Of it's course. the way of the world. So it's really good to reconnect, yep. of course. And here at High Tech, we'll have you back on the show for a future show here Look soon. To it. So be prepared for that. But, and first of all, let's just talk a little bit about you, Fair your enough. experience, and just passion for the industry, and what's kind of led up to Barefoot. Sure. Um, my name is Ed Ulmer. I'm the CEO of Barefoot Technology. Uh, my background is I was the director of tourism in Bar Harbor, Maine, and in Plymouth, Massachusetts. These were two startups because the Chamber of Commerce did such a poor job of representing uh, the local businesses and so on sit on the MLS board for New Hampshire and Vermont. Uh, I have my real estate license. Um, I've worked for a, a number of uh, mall companies as well. A, a diversity of different things which led me to Barefoot, which is a uh, property management system in the vacation rental space. Uh, where We were the first browser-based system. Wow. Um, everybody else has kind of gone that way now, obviously. Uh, we try and be innovative and creative, but we have a, we've been around for a long time. So constantly reinventing ourselves, which is part of the reason why I'm here at uh, High Tech, because you cannot uh, stand still. Exactly. I was going to actually ask you what the experience so far at High Tech has been like. So I've been coming to this for the last four years, and every show I find something really revolutionary. Most of it is not um, being used specifically okay. currently, but planning for it a couple okay. of years ago. Um, well, there was a lot of talk about NFTs. Right. And I realized one, one uh, presenter mentioned that rewards points, eventually, it's a currency. Okay. NFTs are potentially yes. a currency. And so when I started thinking about that, we've had a rewards program in our system for a while, but I started thinking about, okay, you know what? We need to start to look at this. We need to start making changes to it. Right. We were ahead of the, uh, our competition uh, on this, and to stay ahead of it, You've got to be kind of thinking about, you know, where the future is. So and that's that, one example. But that's a great example. What's kind of been to send out this year so far? Anything? Oh, dear Lord. AI. AI is everything. I was going to ask you. <laughs> I know. I know. It's one of your three questions. I've got, I've got a, this question of the buzzwords. AI, specifically Gen AI, right? Yeah. But AI, cloud, data, which of those three is your priority right now? You already answered that one. Yeah, I mean, we're a cloud system and data is so part of AI. AI, so they're all sort of similar to yes. each other. But AI is, you know, I was just at the Skiff show uh, a mm -hmm. couple of weeks ago and they, they used to have a two day vacation rental. Now they have a one day and an AI session okay. uh, as well. So two days, but one's AI, one's vacation rentals. Right. Um, so yeah, m almost everything is here has been about AI and it's, it's fascinating because we're all in the data business, at least right. the PMSs and so on. So in some ways, nothing's changed. It's about data, but it's how you manage that data. And I heard that just the other day. It wasn't, the quantity of data is one thing, but then also the rule sets, right? Yeah. That's the hard part also. Yeah. Well, yeah. And it's, it's, it's fascinating. I heard um, one definition kind of of the AI side of things is managing data that you control and then incorporating the data that you don't control. And it's fascinating because there's all kinds of security ramifications mm -hmm. to that. Big, how, another big buzzword. Yep. How you kind of connect those things together and tie them together mm -hmm. um, is, is fascinating. We're, we're fortunate because yeah. um, we've always been a data company. In our system, one of the things that makes us different is that we have unlimited data fields for owners, properties, tenants. Right. You can build whatever you want. Um, we have clients that have runways and they do vacation rentals for pilots and so on. So yeah. if you're just pushing to, you know, the big portals out there, they don't have anything about that. Right. But the reality is this industry is also niching. It's also graying. Another buzzword, right? The personalization. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and graying as well. So um, the hotel industry, and we come to this show to see what the hotel industry is doing because I hate to say it, they're ahead of the vacation rental space. So I can learn a lot from the hotel side of things. We've We've incorporated concierge tools, rewards tools into our system. Our competition doesn't have it, but hotels have been doing it for years. So right. why not learn from those that do it well and so on? 
And so the whole concept of AI, we're trying to understand where hotels, where uh, resor uh, resorts are going, and then we can try and figure mm -hmm. out how to incorporate it into our system. So I love it. Any big standouts that you've seen? You. Uh, <laughs> I, I, don't know, I don't know about the big. No, well, there we go. How about that? <laughs> um, we're spending a lot of time actually talking to the hotel P, uh, hotel PMSs as well, right. seeing if there's ways to tie with them and seeing where they are going with the whole AI side of things. There are a million new small companies out there mm -hmm. as well, and there are a million companies that have been in the business for a while and they're all trying to find where that all fits. And that's what's beautiful about it too, because even though there's competitors, more and more I'm finding that in this industry, there really is the rising tide lifts all boats mentality. 100%, yeah. I, this industry, my success, my client's success, um, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> Are your ears okay? <laughs> yeah, it's all about trust. Uh -huh. And trust is about building relationship. And trust is about build, connecting with partners, connecting with comp com uh, competition. All of those things we all play in the space together. We, as you said, the rising tide floats more boats. So. I love it. I love it. So final question today, one word. What is the future of travel and hospitality type? Uh, I'm going to say exciting. Aww. Is that is that okay? Is it, it is. okay? Fair enough. Yeah. And you've been in the industry for how many years? Oh, more than twenty. And it's still exciting. Every day I wake up with a ton of energy and enthusiasm. I'm surrounded by great employees, great uh, clients, great partners, and a great industry. And high tech helps me just keep the energy up. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ed, for joining us on Digital once again. We'll have we'll have you back here shortly, but. I hope you have an even more wonderful day and a half as we roll out at high tech. And, and, as, uh, and you as well. Rest. Thanks. Thank you. Bye for now.